Hey, what's up guys? So Janelle's Best here. Now there is a new kid on the block in the cell phone world and it's a pretty big kid. It is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now we all know that this phone is powerful. It can do a lot of different things, but what really gives it its juice? What, what is the, the base of it and the, just the foundation of it that really allows it to be the best that it can be? Well, that is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why this platform is so important to this phone. And if this phone didn't have it, it probably would suck a lot more. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, one of the first things that I really like about the Snapdragon 845 is that um, it allows this phone to be very fast and powerful when it comes to things like gaming or content creation. And that's because it does have the Adreno 630 GPU inside of it. And I believe this is one of the reasons why Epic Games chose to have the Galaxy Note 9 and also other top Samsung phones to be the first to be able to play Fortnite on Android because they probably know that it's not gonna have that many issues with it. And since I've been using this phone for about a week now and I've been playing Fortnite, I'm not a great Fortnite. Fortnite player, but I've been playing it off and on. I haven't had any issues with that or any other games that I've been playing with. And then you can go from gaming and go over to doing something like Samsung DeX, which allows the Galaxy Note 9 to be used more like a traditional computer. So you can hook it up with the monitor with just one cable, and now you can have a traditional desktop type experience. And then also at the same time now, which is new with the Note 9, you can still be using the functions of your phone. So you can still use it just like a regular phone. You can take out the S Pen, write, write notes, or just surf the web, and then also use Samsung DeX at the same time. So again, you need a really good, powerful platform, and that's where the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 comes into play. And then you can go from that to my favorite part of any cell phone, that's going to be the camera. I like to take a lot of pictures with the phone that I'm using at the time. And the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 does have its own ISP, which is an image signal processor, and it's called the Spectra 280. And what this basically is gonna do is help all the hardware for the camera. Because again, you can have a lot of good fancy cameras, you can have dual cameras, dual aperture, just like this Note 9 has, but um, the processing to the image that happens as well, it's very important to make sure you can get that picture the best that it can be. And then because I'm going to be taking a lot of 4K video, I'm worried about battery life, but the new Galaxy Note 9 does have the biggest battery that Samsung has put inside of a Note phone. It's coming in at 4,000 milliamps, which is pretty big, but it's not just about putting a big battery in a phone. You got to make sure that battery is going to be able to last the entire day, and that really is a big part to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 because this platform does a great job at making sure all the different components aren't just draining the battery unnecessarily and everything is running efficiently. Oh, and let's, let's go real quick to the new Bixby 2.0 as well. Now, if you already watched my review, you know that I feel Bixby needs a little bit more work done to be where it should be, but this year there are some improvements that will make it easier to use. And you can do things like you can talk to it more naturally, like you can ask it for concerts that are happening nearby. And then if you wanna know more information, you can ask it for, well, what concerts are happening next month? And then it will just show you the results for that. So you don't have to restate your your original question with Bixby, you can go ahead and keep talking to it more naturally like a human. And this is again, a big part to the Snapdragon 845 because it does have a big emphasis on AI. And so, phew, I know I talk a little fast, but the Galaxy Note 9 can do a lot of different things. And I really just scratched the surface and I could be here all day showing you all the different things it can do. But uh, do check out my boy Inabong over at Board at Work. I'll leave a link down in the description box. He did a really good comparison just with the LTE speeds um, that you can get between the Galaxy Note 9 and something like the iPhone 10. So, Check out that video and you'll be surprised just at the difference in speeds that are based off of the Snapdragon 845. And so like always guys, I wanna thank you for watching the video. I'm gonna leave a link down below if you wanna check out more information about this Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. And also leave your comment down below. Let me know what phone are you using and check to see if your phone is running the same platform. You may be surprised at what's under the hood. So like always guys, follow me on all my social media networks, subscribe to me here on YouTube and thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.